Welcome back to this square room. My name is Jonelle. I'm Deswayne. That's my Santa voice. I know, I know. And like, literally, I was gearing up to say, and it's the most wonderful time of the year. But then you did that. And I'm like, oh, maybe it's not so wonderful. (laughs) (laughs) Because I'm like, you should have just said I'm Santa. Why would I say I'm Santa? I don't want these fucking people to sit on my lap. I mean, certain people you want to sit on your lap. (laughs) Back in the day, you would. Back in the day, if you could have like done like a Santa, like for like your peers or or adults, you would have been like. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You would have been all over that. All over it. All over it. What do you want for Christmas? And I'll be whispering. Let me go to like an all women's college and be be Santa. Uh, (laughs) Come here. Let it. No. Oh my God. You're totally like the the dad in the in the song I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus. Mm hmm. (laughs) <laughs> you're mm-hmm. like somebody doing more than that to Santa <laughs> you're lucky that's where you stop looking son <laughs> oh my god that's literally like your future that you're like that's my past my present, present all of the above <laughs> speaking of presents christmas is coming christmas is coming <laughs> are you excited um yes only because like i'm not like overall excited but i didn't like, my mom and I didn't, like, do Christmas last year. Mm-hmm. And, like, we always go, like, all out with the um, decorations. And I don't know. Like, we, we just didn't, like, not at all last year. So because we are this year, it's just I'm automatically more excited just because we're more in the spirit. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's still, like, not much is happening. What we, what we want to happen is not happening. But I'm still more excited. I, okay. I love Christmas. It's literally Christmas and my birthday, my two favorite holidays. That's good. Yeah, I said holiday. Nope. I know. I didn't expect any different. Yeah. No, I love Christmas. Uh, I'm not a Christmas person, but this year you're not an anything person. I'm not. I'm a chicken person. No, but like, <laughs> no. I mean, in terms of like something that happens on the calendar, is there like a thing that you're like, ah, oh, I love this. I love Easter. I love Halloween. Halloween, I like. I don't like go out all out for it the way I do Christmas, but I love Halloween. Yeah, no, not one thing. You're not like, yeah, Canada Day. The only thing that I've been into only this year, I be- was it this year? No, last year, Valentine's Day still this year i mean it's the end of the year no, no, now no, but... no 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 but i don't remember if it was actually this year or was it oh was but you're saying year. in the last like year or yeah two. it might have been last year okay like i actually did something for valentine's day and i was oh, very proud of myself but but i don't care. i'm not asking did you do anything because oh. i still know like you'll do christmas with your family you'll still do if things. i have to choose one i would choose valentine's day as your favorite like holiday only it's not a holiday but that's how well, I, your that's, favorite i get to be you know <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, do you like it because you get laid or do you like it because like you like to spread love and make people feel loved? I like it because other people can see stuff that I would possibly do and be like, oh, my God, he's so sweet. I mean, I guess that's not really the point, but. But that's what makes me happy. <laughs> Making people jealous. Yeah. Des. What? Love and jealousy are not supposed to go hand in hand. I mm? did. S- <laughs> 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 I did something. Um. Yeah, it was last year I did something and I took a video of it and like I showed because certain people knew I was doing it. So when I showed them, they were like, oh, my God, and this is not even your girlfriend and my boyfriend only did this. And I'm like, hmm. In your head, you're like, yeah, that's right. (laughs) That's what the fuck I thought. (laughs) Go argue with your man now. (laughs) (laughs) Let him know he's not as good. You enjoy causing problems in I do. Other, other people's, people's relationships. Yeah, when I really did nothing technically, yes, yes. Sounds, sounds about right. Um, but this year, um, I know my girlfriend's really into Christmas and stuff and all these other holidays. Um, so this will be interesting. It'll be cute. Yes. Are you going to do like Christmas market? Um, she wants to do all of that. She wants to have like a ugly sweater shirt sweater party. It could be, I guess they have shirts too, but typically yeah. it's sweaters because yeah like she winter. wants to do that but you probably wouldn't do a sweater you do an ugly shirt because i have you... an ugly shirt already i mean all of them fact I'm, I'm, <laughs> i actually bought like i have a santa shirt cute like his head is cut off so his head would be my head essentially yeah i don't think the head is cut off i think you are it is i am the head, head. yeah i am head i th- are you gonna dress up as santa because you have a baby you now you do like pictures of santa look at me are you gonna take him to take uh christmas pictures look at me oh my god you should look at me 
I'm I'm looking and I don't care. You need to do it. He y'all. He's giving me the. Do you really think I'm gonna do that shit? Look, but like you should. I will drive them to the mall to do it. No, you should be in the pictures at least for his first Christmas. Oh, no, that's it's not, not a his thing. first Christmas. It's not. <laughs> I forgot. But he was bo- he was like he can even hold his head up now. He now he can like smile. You know your baby. These things, your baby is so photogenic. Like these take the things pictures. are only for the parents. No, it's not because I actually like growing up. I can I appreciate that my mom did the the Christmas pictures because I love Christmas and I'm happy that I have those baby pictures with Santa. Yeah, play this for Do your you baby remember mama. It? I don't remember. All that. right, done. Did that's but all I'm I need to know. Happy to have the photos. Oh, then I'll tell him that him and his mom went and he had such a great time. Daddy wasn't there <laughs> <laughs> to sit in Santa's chair. Hey. <laughs> so funny and it's actually fucked up that Austin uh, it wasn't Austin Powers it was um it was it was it wasn't uh, uh Dr. Evil no was it was right? Austin Powers oh you're right it was you're when right, he right. went back in time yes and yeah. I'm like but like he says to change my underwear and I'm like you shouldn't be changing underwear like that he was it, pooping if it's himself. not I'm peeing himself. if it's not diapers <laughs> you shouldn't be <laughs> I guess he didn't care <laughs> <laughs> that rhymes too that's what he says oh is that yeah and he goes ladies and gentlemen Daddy wasn't there. I only remember the first two lines. And his dad was literally upstairs. <laughs> Fat Bass is yeah. still my favorite character. Yeah, oh, for sure. That for scene sure. on the fucking toilet, gold. Oh, was... Mm. He was like having explosive diarrhea. Oh, yes, he was. <laughs> you know what? Those movies are it was like... funny. They're a classic. Yeah. I feel like I couldn't appreciate them because we were like younger when they came out. I need to like rewatch them as like a cognizant adult. Well... Mostly cognizant. I I seen them and it's not as funny as you think. No, but it's just like the nostalgia. Like I really want to rewatch like the um Rush Hour movies. You know? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. cause like when you're a kid, like you're like, oh, this movie's so good, but it's like, do you really appreciate it? I don't think so. You didn't know shit back then. You don't know shit now, but you know a little more shit than you did before. When I watch Austin Powers, and you know, like, it's 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 a comedy. Mm-hmm. But like as a kid, it's like an action comedy, which yeah. is like Rush Hour. I feel like they're in the same genre. No. no. Because no, but it is. There's action. Yeah, but but no, 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 not, not as much. Of yeah, course. it's yeah. different. But I'm just saying, like, like they're they're. I would categorize them more similar than like I would because to me, the Rush Hour series is not just like a, like what's that movie? Uh, like Taken, like you know where it's just like all action mm-hmm. or like any of like the John Wick. Like to me, Rush Hour is more comedy than that. So I wouldn't fully put it in an action category. It's action comedy. I would put Austin Powers in with like scary movie. I see what you're saying. Like, it's stupid funny. But, like, Scary Movie was made as a parody, whereas yeah. Austin Powers was just foolishness in a good way on its well, own. Well, yes and no, because it was made as a parody? Of James Bond. I guess. I mean, I guess. And, like, because he actually talks to the audience, too, like, he'll stop and look at the audience and be like, wink. Do you remember... Um Ah, uh, the the was it gold member with Fook me and Fook you? Fook you. That's that's the same daddy wasn't there one. <laughs> was was that yeah. gold member yeah. though? That's the one with Beyonce, Beyonce. in it too. Yeah. I remember. I keep seeing like memes and it's like, oh, do you remember when Beyonce used to like talk to us as her like audience? Because she used to do interviews. She mm-hmm. was like, you know, but now like she doesn't do public appearances. She mm-hmm. does interviews, and and it's like because like of what social media and society has become like Why? they tear everything Why? apart and like if you say something wrong let me just shut my mouth yeah so she's like well fuck y'all i ain't talking yeah, to you guys exactly it's like i'll talk to you through the music and that's and it that's it suck my dick you remember when that whole um thing with jay-z and solange went down uh-huh. and the elevator a camera caught uh-huh. solange beating the dog and, shit out of jay-z and Beyonce just stood there nothing and all she did it was maybe like a year or almost two years later all she did with that line and i can't remember the song and she's like uh Something like that's what happens when shit goes down when there's a billion dollars on an elevator. Something like that. And yeah. that's all she said. Yeah. She was like, yeah. yeah, it happened. And what? We're rich. And what? And I'm still with him. He cheated on uh, me. But what? Nah, breed. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so sometimes I'll be talking and I'll say things. And my wow, girlfriend. Wow, you're the only one who talks and says things? <laughs> And Damn. my girlfriend will get upset, and I don't understand why. Mm-hmm. So, for example, we could be talking, and she'd be like, oh, like, can you ask Joe if I can have a glass of water? I'd be like, hey, Joe, she wants to know if she can have a glass of water. And you're like, yeah, for sure, go ahead. Da, da, da. And she'll get upset at me. Oh, well, you broke the cardinal rule. What is the cardinal rule? 
So remember, was it you that I spoke to about this? It might have been someone else. But like, no, no, no. You know when you're kids and you want to sleep over. Or, or, yeah, you want to sleep over at my house. So you're like, ask your mom. I'm like, no, because if I ask my mom, she's going to say no. But if you ask my mom, she's going to say yes. So I'm like, Des, ask my mom if you can sleep over. And you go and you're like, um, Mrs. Whatever or Auntie blah, blah, blah or whoever, right? You're like, Joe wants to know if I can sleep over. And it's like, no, you can't blame me for it. You just got to say, can I sleep over? That's the rule that's been implemented since childhood. We don't snitch. If you're asking, you're asking. You're not throwing me under the bus because then I should have just asked myself. Now, what so if when I you t- say, uh, you know, a uh, girlfriend wants to know if I can get a glass, if she can get a glass of water to the person, to me, to whoever. It's like, well, why don't you just ask herself? It's just water. So you can't bait her out. You should just be like, oh, can can we get two glasses of water? Or or you say, uh, darling, would you like a glass of water? Joe, do you mind if we, you know, you got to like. Strongly disagree. I'm just saying why you might get shit for no, it. No, now I understand that. But mm-hmm. I strongly disagree because that's not how I was raised. I was raised. If you By want snitches? something, say it. So if she's like, oh, Des, <laughs> ask Joe. I would have been like, just ask Joe for some water. No, I mean. Oh, no, no, no. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, Joe, she wants to know if she got some water. I know some some people were like, if you're not going to ask on your own, you ain't getting it. Like, I'm not asking on your behalf. You're just not getting it. And that's that's how I was raised. But if you want me to ask on your behalf, I will ask on your behalf. I don't want to know if you can have some water. You want to know. So what you want me to do is lie to Joe. No. Oh, you want me to change around the words? So now it's not lying if I change around words. No, I think it's just like the person is like clearly uncomfortable or nervous or has anxiety and they just don't want to be put. So on then the don't spot. drink no water. <laughs> dehydrate bitch <laughs> <laughs> so we were at my mom's and um i was barbecuing and i was like she's like oh i'm not doing anything to-. i'm like do you want to barbecue she's like sure i'm like okay you know my cousin said just barbecue it a little bit and then he's gonna jerk it after and put it in the oven do what jerk it oh you know hmm. <laughs> you, you mean know, add, add jerk season. you know what we're gonna do to them chickens i know what you do to them chickens <laughs> <laughs> So she's like, okay, you know, but I don't know how he wants the chicken. So I'm like, just ask him. She's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And we all know how Des loves so his chicken. So I opened the door. She went in to go use the bathroom. And I'm like, oh, she wants to know how you want the chicken. She was livid, livid. She didn't even barbecue anymore. I did. And I didn't even have a conversation about it after. I saw her reaction because he came out. He's like, yeah. And he was just talking. And she's like, uh, uh, uh. and then she just sat down. So I just started barbecuing because I know you're upset. You're upset because I asked. And then after, she was like, oh, I didn't tell you to ask. I'm like, but you asked me how he wants it. How would I know how he wants it? I don't know. I was just barbecuing because he told me to. I didn't ask no questions because I didn't care, but you care. So you didn't want to ask. So I, all right, fast forward to a couple hours later. She's going in the shower. She goes in the shower and I'm like, okay, how long are you going to be? I have to take a shower. He has to take a shower, cousin. So she's like, okay, I'm going to come out, but can I use the bathroom downstairs? I just got to do my hair and stuff. Yeah, no problem. Oh, but what if somebody wants to use the bathroom? Then I guess they can't. I don't know. Oh, can I use the bathroom in your mom's room? Yeah. Oh, um, is so-and-so in there? I think so. Is it okay for me to use it? Yeah. Can you ask? Why don't you just ask him to... Can you just ask if I could... Okay. Yeah. Uh, Is it okay if she... I didn't even say that. I said she wants to know if it's okay if she uses the bathroom. She wants to do her hair and da da By the time I even say that, I hear, oh my God, behind me. It's it's the it's literally the she wants to know. But I don't want to know. No, I know. But if you had just said... Let's, let's use name Jane, right? If you're like, oh, I just want to know if Jane, uh, do you mind if Jane uses the bathroom to do her hair and makeup? Like, I think that would have made a whole difference if Jane wants to know if, because it's like, nobody wants to, to have the perception of like, if Jane wants to know, Jane should have just asked me herself. So if you don't want that perception, then just ask yourself. I, I know, it's the truth. But the truth hurts. And when you have anxiety, you don't want the truth. You just want to be sheltered and coddled. And I, and I can't do that because, <laughs> like I said, that's not how I was raised. Like, in my house, if it was, you know, you know, my brother, like, oh, mom, he wants to know this. It wasn't like, oh, why doesn't he ask? It was never that. 
I know. See, the thing is, I feel like I feel like I'm in a very like unique perspective <laughs> because I get the feeling, but I also had to advocate for myself. So I get, but I also know the feeling. So I don't do it with other people. I'd be like, oh, hey, um, Des, do you mind if Jane uses your bathroom? Because I'm going to go shower and she just needs to do her And hair. you know what I would have said? Who's asking? You or Jane? Yeah, but I, that's you. Because most people just be, yeah, sure, whatever. It's like, not a big deal. Because that's how my house was. Like it. Like what? Why are you know, shy because, to talk? That doesn't make I sense. Because I understand the anxiety part of I it, it, I would not do it that way. But I also understand, like, you, you got to speak up for yourself. It's just, it's like, you know, I don't know. I I can't speak on it because I get both perspectives. And like, if, like, I understand anxiety is not rational, and you don't want like when you have anxiety, the last thing you want, or even even if it's not anxiety, if you're shy, the last thing you want is to be like put on the spot. Now it's like everyone's like, oh, Jane wants to know. Because people want you to be comfortable. I know. If anxiety is what makes you comfortable, don't go nowhere. And here's the thing. When people, if you're truly a shy or introverted person, or if you're anxious, when people put that extra attention on you, that does not help. Don't go nowhere. If it happens naturally and you get comfortable, but being, fo- it's like, it's like, you want to learn how to swim and someone's Push like, you into okay, the water. that doesn't help. It helped me. Or if it's like, yeah, but I'm just saying like for the most part, it doesn't. That's ridiculous. Know. I was like, some of us, she was to actually put our toe in, then put our foot in, then hang with our feet in and then step waist deep and then kind of dip your, your shoulders and be like, Ooh, you know? So you got to waste time is what you're saying. Sometimes. Waste time on somebody else's time. <laughs> not on my dime. Not, not, not with Not me. on my watch. Yeah. <laughs> if you were like, Des, can you ask my mom if you can sleep over, but don't tell her I asked? Fine. But if I didn't ask to sleep over. But the thing is, it's like you and I were like, yeah, yeah, you want to sleep over? Oh my God, it'd be so fun. Oh yeah, we're having such a good time. We're playing. We don't want it to end. And I'm like, and you're like, oh, like, can I sleep over? I'm like, I'd love for you to sleep over. But I'm like, I can't ask my mom. You ask. That's implied. It's implied. Don't throw me under the bus. That's if I want to sleep over as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to do my hair and makeup. Right, but I'm saying like the rule as kids is even, the, but because the thing is. Situationally, I understand that rule. Situ, like what you're saying, like if we're both like, we're having so much fun, I don't want to go home We yet. both want you to see both. Fine. Over. But I'm telling exactly. you, if you throw me under the bus, my mom's going to say, oh, Joe wants one to see both. No, sorry, not tonight, another time. But if you ask, she's going to be, of if, course, sweetheart. If you, can you stay want over. me to sleep over and I never said anything about sleep over, you're like, Dad, just sleep over. I'm going to go to your mom and be like, Joe wants to know if I can sleep over. Because I, mean, I don't want to know. You want to know. No, because see, me as a kid, I'd be like, oh, I think I have a ballet in the morning. Exactly. I'd be like, no problem. I'm out of here. <laughs> out of here. Out of here. Or no, what I would do is say, like, my mom's not going to allow that. Sorry. And I was, the, <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Like, even with my friends, like my two closest friends I can think of, like, them sleeping over was like, my stepdad would come and be like, what time are they going home? <laughs> Because we would just chill until God ungodly hours. But like at what age? I'm talking about like like children. What do you consider children? I'm thinking like eight years old. Eight years old. The only people that slept over were church people. And they went, they would ask. I wouldn't ask. They would go straight to my mom and ask because I don't necessarily want them to sleep over. (laughs) Like there's the odd time I'd be like, yeah, I want them to sleep over. But I would never ask. Usually it was them. Because I would get beat. (laughs) How dare you ask such a question? (laughs) What have I taught you? <laughs> well, you didn't even make the sound of a belt. You made the sound of a, a whip. whip. <laughs> yeah, you heard me. Oh. Um, yeah. So, like, I, I get it now, but it took after the whole bathroom thing. I like, I'm like, what is her problem? Like, I don't know. And she's like, she's at the door talk. She's like, okay, you do this every time. And I'm like, what did I do? Oh my god, shut up! And I'm like, you can't talk loud on top of that. It, in my house, like things aren't like secretive like that. Like we don't do that. It's, I don't think it, secretive is not what I'm t- taking away from this in terms of what her feelings were. She wasn't trying to be secretive, but she's just trying, like, is she, would you say she's a shy person or an, like shy and anxious? I, you can be both, but you don't have to be. It's weird because she's shy around people that she has known for decades. That don't mean shit. That's what I'm saying. But if it's like new people, like, for example, like strangers. Yeah. She's okay with that. You know why? Because you don't give a fuck what strangers think about you. I don't understand that. No, I get that. Because it's like, I wouldn't say I'm shy around people. But like when you care more about someone's opinion, like you sometimes are a little bit different. I, I don't understand that. Yeah, no. I, I mean, I get that. I think I maybe used to be that. Uh, not with, I don't know. I think like, <laughs> 
no 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 for instance that was like, a lot what, just now i know it was like a whole it yeah. was like my brain was going back and forth because i'm thinking like i was never shy with the people i was close with in my life but like with certain things i was uh like um, more hesitant no like when i started my youtube channel mm-hmm. i didn't care who knew in the world but mm-hmm. people that i knew like close to me knowing without me telling them i was like oh my god why like, yeah i didn't know until later i was like yeah you know what yeah. i mean but like i wasn't shy around you that's mm-hmm. what i mean like it wasn't but i still didn't even know but that's what I'm saying. Like, I was never shy with people close to me, but it was like, sometimes you just, because you care more about their opinion. I don't, and that was my back and forth. Cause I'm like, I'm not like that anymore, but I get being like that. But then I was like, no, I don't. Cause I wasn't shy. Anyways, it was a whole, my brain was just doing a lot, but I, I understand. I, I don't, but I'm starting to kind of <laughs> learn how to use my words. But to be honest for me, like, don't ask me to ask for you. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I don't understand. Like, you're in the same house I'm in. I don't care if it's my mom, your mom, your uncle, my uncle. Just ask. If you have a question, just ask. That's how I was raised. If you, but how you were raised is not how everyone else is I raised. understand. I do understand. It is an important skill to be able to advocate for yourself in any setting. But sometimes you're like, you my man, just do it for me. <laughs> no. See? No. Even like, oh my God, can you, can you get me another plate? I don't want them to think... You're hungry. Whether I get the plate or not, you're the one eating, eating the food. <laughs> Go get the plate, man. That's no, I don't want them to look at me. Fine, if you don't want to get me the food, fine. Forget it. I'll starve. So then starve. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. You didn't just say, so then starve. I didn't say that. That wasn't <laughs> no, a situation. I said you didn't just oh, say I did. that. I did. <laughs> That's- because I would have walked, like, if that was an actual situation where she was like, okay, fine, forget it then. I'd be like, okay, forget it then. But you know what? I think I understand how you were raised because if, like, I know kids or new, I guess they now adults, mm-hmm. but, like, where if, so, for instance, you're hungry, you want seconds. You go to your mom, mom, can I get more? Yes, of course, go help go yourself. Go help yourself. Or, or ask Miss Miss Tracy if you can get more or if she can Did serve Did everybody you eat? More. Yes? Okay, then go for it. Like, no, I don't want to. Can you help me? No, no, get it yourself. Oh, I don't want to. So then start. Like I can literally see. I can literally see your <laughs> mom saying that to you as a kid. So I done get it. did, <laughs> done did. Even like with my son. Um, this is in August. It was my cousin's birthday. We're having a little barbecue dinner for him, and uh, my son is standing there, and she's like, "Okay, he he's thirteen, and she's like, oh, okay, like give me your plate. Plate for what? Let him share on his own." Food. Well, sometimes it's like a thing, like, especially with the birthday person. Oh, you sit down. Let me get it for you. Or like, no, it wasn't his birthday. Oh, 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 oh. It was my cousin's birthday. Well, so you can. And my son's mom was sharing out his food for him but as that's a. That's her baby. See, that's the problem with. <sighs> oh god. Oh oh. Oh oh. His whole his whole. That is the issue I have changed. with 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 a mother mentality. Not all mothers. But a lot of mothers, I find, I understand that's your baby. I do understand. But however, when you baby your baby, and now your baby grows up and I'm wants to look women, for a woman to, to ba- baby him. where do you, that's what I'm like, where do you think it comes from? That's when you get, I'm not your mother. Exactly. And now you have these whatless men who want whatless. women to do everything for them. And what you're not no. about to do is raise a whatless I'm man. I'm not doing that. You ain't doing that. I'm nope. not doing that. Nope. First of all, you take your mom's plate and share out food for your mom. How about that? Mm-hmm. And when she's done, take her plate, put it in the garbage. Raise a gentleman. And that's what he does. Like if we're all eating at the table and he's finished, he'll ask who else is finish he'll take everybody's plate scrape it out put it in the sink if i'm finished first i do that like it 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 just but to be fair i don't see a problem with a mother doing that for her son but i do think you you can't do it all the time i do no yes you can't do it all the time after your son is i'm gonna give you 12 i don't see anything wrong with it sometimes honestly like you know me i'm not the type of bitch to be like i'm gonna cater to my man i'm gonna do but like every now and then why not but I, you think i'm uh, sharing your plate every time if you're in you the kitchen I'm, but like when i'm meeting your mom for the first time oh sweetheart <laughs> here, here sweetie ah. <laughs> here Open. comes the airplane you like the car right vroom, vroom. This, this is what we do the first three times i meet your mama Oh, but then like by that third time, I'm, I'm like, comfortable. But like I'm cracking jokes. They're like, he can do it himself. But let me. But then the fourth time, I'm kicking up my feet. You ain't gonna get my plate. <laughs> simple, simple. <laughs> because like I'm not gonna be fake. But like you want to put like your best foot forward. Because like I will do it sometimes. But I'm not doing it all the time. So I'm gonna show your mama those first few sometimes is, and then after that, it's done. would you? Okay, would you do it in front of his mama and your mama? Yeah. 
but like not no, all no, no, the time. No. I like that. I like not that. all the time. Like in general, if it's just the two of us, I will do it sometimes, and I expect you to do it sometimes. sometimes. Yes, and that makes sometimes sense. we do it for ourselves. Yeah, for sure. Like you know what I mean? Like I think. I'm more inclined, like, if I'm cooking, I'm going to serve it out. Oh, for sure. If that you're makes cooking, sense. you better serve You better serve the shit out. Not you cooking, you leave it, or, oh, you can help uh, yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes you don't need to serve it out for me. Cool, like, I'll get to it when I get to I'm it. I'm not hungry right now. And even still, like, if I'm right there in the kitchen, I'll help myself. Yeah. If you're setting up dinner, you serve it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's just a yeah. situational thing. But so, if like, it's a child, no. But yeah, in front of my mom, his mom, God, yeah. Satan, anybody. <laughs> Like, I, I've had girls do it in front of their mom, but in front of my mom, they're like, oh, no, babe, no, can you get it for me? No, 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 no. Uh, if you don't get your ass up. Get your raggedy it, ass. <laughs> here, just take my plate. I don't want to eat no more. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I totally get that. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, I was doing some research. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. I feel like no sentence from you start, it is, research? is good <laughs> if it starts with that. Because it has to be something real serious for you to do research on it. I was... Or real stupid. We know that, like, I, I do curse. Why are you, like... We know. Because when I talk about it, I'm like, I don't curse. Me? No. All it takes is to work you up about... Look how you were throwing around the B word just now. <laughs> yeah, I know. Bitch, get your own plate. <laughs> so we know that I don't curse. <laughs> I don't really curse. Um, mm. I try not to. I try not to. Mm-hmm. Um, I know back in the day, my teacher tried to tell the class that only uneducated uneducated people curse. No, you know that's actually like the opposite. I know. They say smart people tend to a lot more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I found out that it also helps with pain tolerance. So swearing. Yeah. You know what's so funny? Like, actually. When I broke my ankle, the paramedics... Oh, you cussed like crazy. Well, no. The paramedics <gasps> were helping me, and they were trying to take, like, my shoes and whatever off to, like, assess it. And it hurt. Like, can I tell you? The worst pain I've ever felt in my life. And I was like, oh, ow. And I was holding it, and he was like, you can swear if you want. Like, I know this hurts. Once he said that, I let it fly. Yeah. But I was, like, trying to be polite and whatever. But he was like, no, like, if there's ever a time... <laughs> like, is it biologically? Biologically? I don't know what you're trying to say. Like, it it helps with the pain. Uh, Maybe psychologically? Psychologically? Okay. I didn't know which one it was. (laughs) I I don't know. Maybe maybe it's biological. I don't know. But I would say psychologically. So, they took um, 15 university students Mm -hmm. and they stuck their hands in, like, freezing cold water. Mm -hmm. The ones who were able to stay in there the longest. Were the ones who were swearing. The ones who were cussing up a storm. Yeah. And the, the issue I have with swearing is because it could be used for anything. It's not like if a bad word was a bad word and that's it, you can be like, fuck that bitch. And you're like, yes, fuck that bitch. Like it's it's the same words, different contexts. Okay. And I don't like that about swear words. If if this was a I bad see what you mean. that's why that's my problem with them. That's why bitch is my favorite swear word. Because 98% of the time, I'm using it like, yes, bitch. Okay, bitch. <laughs> bitch, what the hell? I even, with my mom, I'm like, bitch, please. <laughs> no, I swear to God. And she calls me bitch too. But like, <laughs> the other 2%, I cannot call my mom bitch in that way. But like, you know, it's like, oh, she's being a bitch. Oh, what a fucking bitch. Like, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. But like, I just love the word. See, because most of the time, me and my friend, bitch, bitch, like the bitches are flying. They are flying. And I love it. It's my favorite word. That's do you have a, do you have a favorite it. swear word? I think you're a fuck guy. I, I would say that. Or a shit guy. Those are the actually two that I was thinking. Because I stretch shit. it out. She. She. <laughs> and then I go, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> those, 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 yeah, those definitely would be my two. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Hold on. <laughs> Joe, are you okay? I thought of something. I'm going to cry. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> Yeah, fuck, fuck might be. No, no, no. Hold on, no? hold on, hold on. Okay. I need to pause the podcast because I need to look something up. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so the way you said fuck just now when you dragged it out, it reminded me of something. <laughs> I think, I hope this is the right one. Wait. No, it's not this oh my one. Goodness, you all right? It's coming, it's coming. <laughs> 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 we 
What is that? <laughs> Wait, it's not the right one. <laughs> this is the same video. No. Oh my god. That sounds like dogs fighting. You know that sound. The <laughs> Oh, he's throwing up. It's the fucking dog vomiting. But <laughs> what TikTok has made this <laughs> the way you said you were like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I'm actually. Going. That's actually that's how I say it. Like, if you're no, telling me, you a, normally don't sound like a fucking dog. If you're telling it. me a story and like it's an intense story, <laughs> and like the ending is such a plot twist, fuck, <laughs> shit, that nigga did what? I can't find. Oh the god right damn! Sound, but anyone who knows what I'm talking about, which I feel like should be most people, know <laughs> that shit was so funny. Oh god, Des, thank you. Oh, the tears. I'm trying not to like full out Actual cry. cry. <laughs> no, that was like that hurt my ribs laughing. Oh my god. Yeah, I I used to I know in grade twelve, uh first year only year I went to college. <laughs> I said first year. <laughs> you just said grade twelve. No, and then I said oh, oh first wow. yeah. Um instead of saying like holy shit, I would say holy vagina. And like the teacher would like stop and then be like, you don't have to use that word. I'm like, I don't want to swear. And they were always like, yeah, but Des. Was the teacher a man or a woman? Both. Like I would like I would actually just. Which do. teacher are you referring to in this story? Man. I'd be like, sir, what's wrong with vaginas? That's what I would do now. No, but like, like if I was in high school these we, days, they would hate me. It's not a swear word. I don't know. Men are so weird around the female anatomy. Ugh, men. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. Kidding. People are going to come for me. I mean, some men, not all. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Just got to cover my bases. Wow. That laugh. Like I'm like overheated now. I, Shit. You're not okay. I'm not. I will be though. Just give me give me a minute. <laughs> um, you know when like something stupid just makes you like die of laughter. Die. And you know, and it's worse because you're the only one laughing because you were sitting there looking at me like you okay. Yeah. And like I really wasn't. And it's funny because like when people message me, like if I put laugh my fucking ass off, I'm chuckling. Oh, normally I'm straight faced. I'm straight faced when I write L O O O L. Because I never just write LOL. I write LOL. When I'm laughing, I type ba ha 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 ha. When I'm laughing, I put <laughs> I'm dead. No, I mean, I'm lying. And some of the times, no, like an LOL is just like a, it made me smile on the inside. Yeah. Not even on the outside, on the inside. Yeah. 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 If I put I'm dead or I'm screaming, oh, I'm dying. Because it's different, right? It's like. When if if you were with me in person, I would chuckle in real life. But like you're not, it's a text, so like I'm not chuckling. Yeah, it has to be really really funny. Where like the way I'm dying now, like that's when I'm. I don't know. There's there's times where I have like physically thrown my phone because I'm laughing that hard. There's times when like I've watched like a comedy special or a show, and I'm like, oh, this is really good. This is really funny. I'm enjoying it, and I look at myself and I'm straight faced. But like if I was with someone else, I would be laughing. Yeah. Because like you you're just taught to like express yourself more around other people. Uh this is a video that one of our our listeners sent me. And I was hollering. When I say I was hollering, hollering. Oh. The video says she can't twerk. She's in a wheelchair and the girl is holding onto a walker. <laughs> Des. Let me tell you, she's throwing something back. And it's the way she dropped her head. Like, yeah, who because, the fuck are you talking about? Because she trying to she trying to throw it. That, I love that. I love <laughs> And then it, it cuts to a guy with tears rolling yeah. down his face, but he's trying not to laugh, but the tears are. Yeah, see, are like, rolling. look at my I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I'm fucking screaming yeah, hero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you literally just did. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> Um, Did I tell you about a time that like a meme account came for me? Whoa. Yeah, I know. I You're was, a celebrity. No, no. <laughs> this was years ago. So like, I feel like now I don't... Listen, Kingsley, what we're not going to do is start squeaking in this square room now. Sorry, my dog has a toy in here. Usually we don't allow him to have toys, but Kingsley's like, I'm going a, I'm to a squeak today. Anyways, um, it was... What was I saying? 
Um, oh, the meme account. Yeah. See, I remember. Got there on my own. Um, no, so apparently, not apparently, this was like back in the day when, I don't know, it was like, when like Instagram was still popping, but like before most of the bots. So it's like most of the comments were like people tagging friends. Yes, yes. So I had a friend who like now if he wants to send me anything, it's always a DM. But like mm-hmm. this friend at the time would always tag me in like meme accounts and stuff. So he tagged me in this fucking post. And I don't know what the fuck it is. Like even to this day, I can't describe it. What I, I will describe what I believe I saw before I shut my eyes as tightly as I possibly could. It looked like a person eating like a hamster or, or like a uh, some sort of like small rodent, but like a pet. Like it didn't look dirty or like rat like or mouse, like, you know, although rat and mice. Rats and and hamster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looked like a hamster, but like it looked small, like maybe a baby. I don't know. And it like I saw someone like bite down and I I fucking screamed and closed it. So now I am in the comments and I am responding to my um, friend. friend I'm like at whatever I'm I was like WTF I'm literally screaming because I was now this meme account I've never like meme accounts typically aren't like in the comments responding yeah, to yeah. shit like that this account I was like bitch what you screaming for <laughs> I was like what? I'm sorry no I was just dying I <laughs> It's like, oh my God, <laughs> like never have I ever had a meme account come for me. But like, you call me a bitch. You know what I'm screaming at? Are you kidding me? I'm like, whoever runs this account is fucked up. I'm like, what? this is definitely against some terms and some conditions. You just did something that I question. What? Why do Canadians always put on American accents? That's not an American accent. That was an Amer- American accent? No, because when I talk like that, you also compare me to my other friend who is a Canadian man. Who also puts on American accent. He's not putting on American accent. It's just called like sass. So you're saying all Americans are sassy? I feel like you're profiling right now. I've been profiling. All Americans are rude. Let me tell you, the only American accent I ever do is like a Jersey accent. And I'm like, you know, I want my coffee. I'm going to walk my dog, that type of thing. But I never do any other American accent because I cannot. I cannot. (laughs) <laughs> okay, I'll point it out the next time. Don't no, worry. I know what you're saying, but I'm saying this is that's not me putting on an American accent. You're just saying I happen to sound American. I'm not saying I'm saying I'm not putting. But why don't it you on. just say it with your normal voice? That is part of my normal voice and my personality. As oh, I said, it's American. just it's just sassy. That's what I'm saying. Your, so your sass part is American. If it sounds like that to you, then it sounds like that to you. I can't tell you how to perceive it, but I'm not saying okay. Let me put on an American accent to be sassy. Okay. What is that phase? That is the, hmm, I'm going to start to put on accents and then tell you that they're not accents. I'm just doing it because. What? Oh. What are you talking about? You just asked me what that face was. I'm telling you what I'm thinking. No. <laughs> yes. I'm following for that part. But I, like, do you not get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like sometimes when I say stuff and you're like, what accent was that? I'm like, I don't know. Right. Because in your head, you're not putting on an accent. You're just speaking. But out loud, it's an accent. But you're speaking it right. And it's not your normal voice, which is what makes it an accent. I mean, I guess. But, like, I feel like my voice is, like, very dynamic. No. Yes, because sometimes I speak, like, at this level, which I feel like is my base. Like, this this is my voice mm-hmm. right now. But, like, sometimes I, like, drop an octave. I'm like, really, really, like, and I talk lower. Are you saying I'm putting on an accent? But that's or- not an accent. That's just you changing the tone of your voice. Right, based off of how I'm speaking. Feeling so when I'm sassy, but when you're I'm saying, gonna sound like this, and I'm gonna do that because I'm being American. Sassy. I'm gonna be I'm sassy. America. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, he put his hands in the air out of the way of them like he just didn't care. <laughs> See, but every American's gonna be like, she does not sound American when she does that because I'm not trying. to They be. know exactly what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about too, but like I don't, and they they would agree. I see it. I just don't agree. They with would it. be like. Yeah, she is putting on a, yeah, all your a southern kids, accent. All your kid- a, a That's not southern. I'm just, I was just going to name different places. See, you didn't even let me finish. Look mm-hmm. at that. Mm, women, don't even let you finish your sentence. <laughs> Men, don't even let you finish. <laughs> <laughs> Fact! <laughs> Got my nut. Peace! Squirrel's day. What does that mean? Got your nut? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, so, on Instagram, Twitter, on social media... A lady said something, typed something, and I don't know how to feel about it okay. because I don't. 
I don't understand. Okay. So she said, being a wife used to be about pleasing your husband in capital letters. Mm, Now it's about getting as much attention as you can from as many men as you can, even if it's inappropriate. And we wonder why these men are hesitant to marry. Mm, Now. Hold on. Sorry. Can you one more time? Being a wife used to be about pleasing your husband. Now it's about getting as much attention as you can from as many men as you can, even if it's inappropriate. And we wonder why these men are hesitant to marry. I thought that being a wife used to be about your family selling you to another family for... On God, I thought the same thing too. (laughs) I guess if we fast forward, I thought being a wife was about being in love and like, yeah, you want to please that person, but it's supposed to be a two-way street. No, I guess... I guess it hasn't always been a two way street for for women. So okay, I can I can give her that. I understand I, where she's going. I don't give her that. I don't completely agree, but I'm like you know I, I get it. No, no, we're not we're not gonna get it because if <laughs> no 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 no. This is what we're not gonna do in this square room. We're not gonna take a woman's words and say we can understand certain parts of where she's coming from. But if a man had said back in the day a woman da 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 da. He would have got slaughtered. That's what we're not going to do. We're not going to understand because it's coming from a woman. No, I refuse. I I rebuke. I rebuke. What accent is that? (laughs) (laughs) Uh. Listen, I understand where she's coming from because there was a period of time where... For a woman, it was about servitude. It was about the woman's places in the kitchen and the woman does this and does that and, and rears the children and da 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 da. So like I get it. You you like it's not about men or women, it's about history, my friend. History. Yeah, but I'm not saying I'm not saying that she's wrong. What I'm saying is what we're not gonna do but is, I do understand. is so side I'm- and understand with her. However, men have made these comments and and we've had conversation about men saying these so things. Provide so me? once a man says it, you know what? Provide Hold that you note. With an exact example. No problem. Because next one, week, next week we will be back, and I will have the exact episode. One thing. Oh, really, bitch? One thing I'm not afraid to do is admit if I'm wrong, or to admit if like women in general are wrong. Of course not. What do you mean? When fucking women are like, oh, you're signing with men, you're a pick me, like, like I don't know, fuck off. So you're telling me if if. <clears throat> Let me go back I do. I do definitely think that like people can sometimes jump down men's throats, um, but I think you can't compare. So men and women in that particular way, because like women historically have had a harder time at the hands of men. So for her to say like marriage was about serving your husband, I'm like, I don't think that's what it's about. But I do think there was a period of time where that's kind of what was expected in a relationship. So if a man were to say something else, then listen, we're, we're getting to it because she's she's making a statement about men and why they don't want to marry um, or get married and whatever. Right. Like I'm assuming straight men she's talking about. So like we'll get to that and we'll speak on men as we progress through this. Was it a tweet? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we'll get to that. But as far as what she says, I do understand. Come at me, bro. So if this tweet was from a man okay, and he said being a wife used to be about pleasing your husband now it's about the same exact thing yeah. but the tweet was from a man you'd be like yeah he's right no i would have said the same thing i would have been like mm, i don't know about that I'd be like, mm. well actually yeah at one point in time i guess it was it's the exact same thing it's not about who's saying it it's about because like when you're like oh it's a being a wife is about pleasing a husband like my my gut reaction is like oh no but i'm like mm. first it was like you're sold off by your family for a couple of chickens and a cow and then it's like okay as we progress through history it really was whether or not that was right it was but i'm like i feel like she's not talking about that time period which what which makes her statement wrong whether she's a woman or a man i feel like she's talking about like early 2000s even in the 90s i think she's talking about the fact that like social media allows you to show off and be this and be that so like it's about what what was the second half like trying to make a like, as, impress uh, other people trying to get as much attention as you can from yeah. as many men as you can she, she does not specify social media but i feel like that's where she's getting at in terms of like getting attention from other people that's that's how i'm interpreting it at least so i'm thinking like she's not talking about way way back in the day when that's what marriage 
kind of had become about I think she's talking about like you know in the 2000s like before social media was like what it is today and I think she's I mean that's how I interpret it you don't no how do you interpret it I interpret it like if this was coming from a man oh you just don't like the whole I I I don't like the whole thing Mm -hmm. because I don't what I don't like about people is what makes this person justified to say it, but that person can't say it. If we're talking about it, we're talking about it. If we're not, we're not. Okay. So when men tweet about what it is or what it used to be like to be a wife, now in the comments, oh, yeah, well, women weren't happy, and yeah, now women have a voice and stand up for themselves, and now this, okay. Okay. Chill. Chill, bro. Funny side note. (laughs) I saw... um a post the other day and it was a woman and she took a like a white probably it was like a like eye liner pencil or something and she outlined her hairline you know how men do that when they have like a fresh haircut and you get like mm-hmm. the white line <laughs> and she was like i no, don't know do you know why that white line's there well hold on okay. we'll get to that she was like i don't know why men always have this shit and da 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 and why they leave it there for days and blah 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 now my understanding of it it was for like lining it up straight is that why it's there? Yeah, the barber does that. Yeah. 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 So, like, they do it to, like, make sure the lines are yeah. good and everything is... Because they're not the eyeing it. They're literally measuring it. Right. Yeah. So, that that's why I assumed it was there. But um, a lot of the women in the comments are like, yeah, like, it's true. Like, why... Do, and it's like, okay, the barber puts it there, but, like, y'all don't wash your face. Why is it there four days? No. And, like, low-key, these are things we think, but, like, you think I'm going to be commenting on shit like that? Because what the men were saying was stay out of men's business because that's my body my choice because that's what they get when like men want to talk about oh mm-hmm. like women wear wigs and women wear makeup and women do this mm-hmm. and that and women are like this our business stay out of women's mm-hmm. business so that's why i kept my mouth shut and i'm like yo i actually do wonder why they keep the line on there because i'm like it doesn't look good with the line in my opinion but like who the fuck am i nobody i don't I'm, I'm keep my mouth shut because i didn't actually understand i get why it's there i don't get why it stays <laughs> but hey some people are like, oh, you know, with, with those uh, mesh screens that you guys have on these wigs. And I'm like, mm. that's why I'm not going to say anything because I don't. <laughs> I'm not wrong. I'm going to stay on. I stay out of men's business. Truly. Like, I, have, I have nothing to contribute. I have nothing mm-hmm. to say. And I'm glad. I ain't got no problems with Good. it. Good. But. <laughs> Good. Like, it's okay to question things, but keep it to your fucking self. Keep it to your fucking self. Or you ask in a respectful way. Yeah, because when you don't, you look like an idiot, you sound like an idiot, and I hate people because they're idiots. You know what I hate worse, though, than the line on the forehead and the, the side when they do the fucking line up for the beard and they keep the white shit there? Like, you you look crazy. It, it looks like a police outline, I a chalk it. outline. No, seriously, it's wild. Um, it's It's harder to get out than you guys think. What do they use? I don't fucking... I've only had it on me one time. Permanent marker? And you're I, like scrubbing off your skin? Scrubbing. Really? Scrubbing. Like I get why... So Kingsley's over it because he's like pushing things over. <laughs> he came and was tapping me. He's like, I want to get out of this this square room. Kingsley. Hey. Chill. And he's purposely ignoring me now. Definitely. Because okay. <laughs> you know he would have whipped his head around uh-huh. if it was anything else. But yeah, no, I I genuinely, um, yeah, I don't know. I I don't know. Because I'm thinking like if it's like an eyebrow pencil or an eyeliner pencil, like those, those come off easy peasy. Unless mm. it's waterproof. But like if you're just using it to line up, why would you need a waterproof like thing? I don't know. Why would you need a water? Like a pencil, like whatever they use. I don't know. I'm assuming it's a oh, pencil. Oh, because sometimes when you do your hair, like they use water to literally like get away the the hair that they cut because it stays on your face. Oh, they so use to, water to do that? Sometimes they use water and at the mm. end they use alcohol to... I've seen the alcohol, yeah. but that's the thing. Isn't it meant to be wiped off? It's just meant as a guide. So like you don't need to do it so dark and so hard. Yeah, so even if it comes off a little bit, I would think that that would be okay. It mostly what I find is the people who use the pencil are people who are not used to doing lineups, which are black people here. Cause a lot of white people don't get lineups. They just do a quick cut. Like, yeah, you see the fresh white guy, but you know, he has a local culture in there, you know, you know, he might be able to move his waist a little bit. Oh my God. Can I tell you white guys that go to black barbers? They exactly my point. Oh, and they don't have the white mark on them because black as fuck. Fine as fuck. Oh, you're saying black barbers don't do that? No. 
I only like from what but I, I feel found. Like only if you're white an amateur, barbers. you're an amateur, regardless of. No, because when you're an amateur black barber, you're cutting black hair, usually. But it's not about your ability to cut; it's about your ability to like keep it straight, right? Because you said they're using their protractor and their ruler and <laughs> yeah, and their compass. But when you get used to it, like my cousin, he's not a barber, but he's been cutting he his own hair. hair. Mm. He's cut my hair in the past. He's cut my other cousin's hair. And that's about it. Like, he'll do it. And he doesn't need the line thing. You just, you know, when you know, you know. <laughs> I guess sometimes you don't want to chance it as well. And, like, you realize that someone's shit is diagonal. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Especially men with, like, the widow's peak. Oh, you don't want that shit going halfway back your head. Oh, boy. Hair. Oh, boy. Men don't play with their haircuts. Nope. A, a man with a good haircut and, like, a nicely trimmed, like, facial hair, nicely groomed facial hair is, like the equivalent of like a woman with like a full face of makeup but like not in a cakey way like just a beautiful beat like i don't know mm-hmm. it, it just like enhances because you ever see men like the before and afters you go from homeless to like damn like you know yeah see with one haircut it is like magic that's how we feel like okay we're cutting our Sorcery. hair we look we look different fine as fuck yep that's like a woman when she just gets her hair done you can't tell me nothing yeah yeah depending on the hair you get done what does that mean hmm Des, mm-hmm. what does that mean? Nothing. Hmm. Keep that shit to yourself. Mm-hmm. I'll be glad to. <laughs> stay out of women's business. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I think no matter what hair you get done, whether it grew out of your head or you purchase it at it's the yours, store, boo-boo. or it's attached to a hat, you know them wigs that you just throw on your hat? Hey, if, you, if it looks good, it looks good. <laughs> Des is giving me a look like I know it all too well. You seen the interview with the girl uh, last month? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> That wasn't a hat. First of all, the clip, her her wig started back here, like where my head. It was on. already, it was already off. I saw the comment. They're like, I want to see the progression of when this wig started slipping and why nobody told. Because at first, when I saw the clip before I realized that it fell off, I thought it was just like a headband and then no. thing. Because I saw the band, but yeah. I was like, oh, you know, some people slick their hair back and then they have the little poof. Mm-hmm. So that's what I thought. And then as this thing was creeping back, trying to escape, it did. Yeah, this girl's wig fell off mid mid uh, mid conversation while she was talking about God being a good good father. And what I love most about the video is that like she was talking very. Did she put on an accent? I would say yes. The reason why I would say yes, I think she just changed the cadence of her voice because her voice is different. But then she was like, "Nigga." <laughs> okay, it wasn't it wasn't demonic. <laughs> it wasn't, you didn't hear it. It was not you, nigga. Oh my God. She had, when she was talking before, I'd even, I wouldn't tell that. But I think that's what I do as well. It's like me talking now versus like the, the, her original before. voice before it fell off. Mm-hmm. You think that was, that was the fake voice. That, think, was, that was, that oh. was my posh and proper voice. And then when it fell off, the real her shit. came out. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Fair, fair. I mean, but I think like, it's situational, especially black people. You know, black people code switch. That's the problem. But like, okay, so what? What if this voice that I'm using now is my code switching? Then I would tell you to go to the other one. My 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 American, American accent. One. Yeah, I have a friend who's born in Canada, raised in Canada, and he s- sounds American. Like mm-hmm. you'll be like, "Oh, how's your day?" Oh, I can't even do it because I'm not. <laughs> Try it. I can't, I can't, I can't. Des, you, everyone listening is like, ah, oh, come Good. on. Good, yeah, come no, on. No, Des, come on. Don't be a cock tease. Is that, did I use that correct? <laughs> did I use that correctly? Uh, yeah, but like. Like you're teasing, like you're, you know, you're edging us. I hope I'm not teasing anybody's cock right now. Maybe they. I mean, if you're saying I'm making your kitty. <laughs> no, well, it's mostly men who listen to this podcast. Okay. So maybe they're just Maybe like, they have kitties. Maybe they're like, yo, this man's voice. <laughs> I don't blame you. And I hear my yeah, voice too. Let's hear the accent. And then you're like, you're teasing them. Um, Doesn't mean you're edging them. They just want to get their nut off and you won't Okay, what it. is something he said? See? Oh, fuck. Come on. You're dropping the ball. I am. Because I can't. You're putting me on the spot. Please. Okay. You love putting I have, me on the spot. I have to do it when you least suspect it. <laughs> I'm shy. <laughs> but I had to ask him if he was raised in the U.S. Because I really was confused because since i've known him yeah but no american probably thinks that actually i don't know i've i've had people assume i'm from like like california okay but i'm just like they just speak normally i'm like why don't i ever get new york like new york is right no. there no why new though york, new york yeah 
I'm like, I could be from the Upper East Side of Manhattan. <laughs> <sighs> on that note. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on that note, we're going to get to a listener question. Oh, wait, did we? Did you say everything you had to yeah, say? Yeah, 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 go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Um, yes, a listener question. So if you are listening and you want to write in, whether that means you have a story or a question or anything, we would love to hear from you. You can go to thissquareroom.com to write in. And actually, you can be anonymous if you choose. We love to hear your names, but of course, not everyone is comfortable with that. So by all means, do your thing. Um, today's question comes from Anonymous. And they said, hi, Jonelle and Des Wayne. I need some advice. Over the last several months, a friend of mine has grown increasingly messy and sloppy. We are in our 20s and often go out drinking, etc. However, since earlier this year, my small friend group has noticed that my friend, let's call her Jenny, has been getting exceptionally sloppy and blackout drunk to the point when it's no longer fun. We turn into babysitters and get kicked out of venues. We even went out once and didn't invite her, but we all felt so guilty about it. Even worse, she found out that we didn't invite her out and she was really hurt, which we didn't want to happen. I love her. We all do, but we can't take it anymore. It's become so messy and it's not and it's not just every now and then anymore. It's consistently every time. So how do I tell my close friend that they are embarrassing me? Thank you. Um I don't have this problem, so I will I will go first because um, I've never been in a situation like this. Wait a oh, minute. Oh. First of all, what are you trying to imply? Choose your words very wisely because I see you trying to smirk. That... You, you don't have this problem, so I do? No. That what are you, you trying to say about my friends? Okay, then we're on the same page. What are you trying to say? Um... I do have experience, but that's not the point. <laughs> That's not the point. I don't. I don't like. I don't like the projection. I don't like the assumption. I'm not assuming. So what are you doing then, Joe? Hmm? A month and a half ago, we talked about the friend that made out and didn't even remember they made out. <laughs> so I'm not assuming anything. <laughs> so I mean, like, but that's not sloppy. That's just messy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay sorry friend i tried to go hard for you but he he came with receipts i'm sorry i'm so sorry (laughs) i tried i would say honestly in my opinion i would look at that situation and be like your friend is going through something that they're not telling that's what i and they're using this as an escape that every time they go out they have to be this person just to escape their actual real life 100 percent. it's funny that you said that because like i think everyone has had a night or sometimes several nights where they've drank too much yeah. i know i have been there yeah um i know des has been there like <laughs> well it's weird because des does it to himself on purpose which is a whole other <laughs> but the point is like we've all been there right like we've had moments that like we regret or we drank too much or we threw up or like yeah. whatever so like that to me is not so much the problem because everyone has to get their gauge on how much they can drink and sometimes i think my thing every time i've gotten like more drunk than i've wanted to it's like you're already tipsy, so you're like, fuck it, I'll do another yeah, one. And yeah. you're just like, you're not in your right mind. You're not drunk, 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 but you're not in, in your right yeah, mind where yeah. you're like, oh, you know what? Maybe you could have another one, but I should give it a 30 minute. Like, you yeah, know. Yeah. So that's what happens for me. Or like, um, even if I don't drink a lot, I think mixing too much is another thing. Mm-hmm. But I think like a normal person is not every single time you go out getting obliterated. Mm-hmm. That is not someone who is in... A good place yeah so what i would say is rather than be like you're embarrassing me i'd be like hey i noticed that you seem because she's uh this person said that the friend what did she she called her something A jenny bitch jenny. <laughs> sorry go ahead <laughs> no. yeah this person uh called the friend jenny so it's like and then he said what hold on er, uh, since early this year my small friend group has noticed that my friend let's call her jenny has been getting exceptionally sloppy and blackout drunk to the point when it's no longer fun so if you're noticing that maybe last year last summer last whatever you know you guys were all getting drunk and having fun but like something changed where it's gotten to another level yeah like maybe it's not around fun. that time something went on in in jenny's life 
where she's under a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. She's being more reckless and she's trying to, like Des said, escape. I think as a friend, if you guys are, especially you said a small friend group, so I don't think anything's wrong with sitting this person down, kind of like an intervention, yeah. but like not like you don't call it that, but just be like, oh, we're concerned. Or you go to her one on one and you say, Jenny, like you've been every time we've been out this year, you have gotten blackout drunk. Are you OK? I'm asking because I love you and I want to be there for you. So if there's anything that you want to talk about. I'm there for you. And if she's like, no, I'm good. Then you leave it at that and be like, okay, if you ever want to talk, I'm here. And what Mm -hmm. you should also do is try to hang out with her and initiate hangouts, even if it's just one-on-one, where you're not going out to a club or a bar. Be like, oh, let's go to the movies or let's go shopping where you guys can like maybe talk and like she can feel comfortable opening up to you. Because it's easy to be surface level and not open up when you're always going out and drinking. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I would, I would, yeah, I, I think something more is going on. Yeah, she keeps going back to her ex. (laughs) <laughs> Jenny well, seems like that type I'm not gonna lie to you What about her Makes her seem like that the You blackout. don't know anything Man Every time these girls Who can't handle their liquor Get drunk drunk And it's a consistent basis They text her ex. You keep making the same mistakes Over and over again Whether it's You keep going back To the same guy Who you know is no good And you sober up And you're like Fuck why did I do that mm-hmm. Or You go to a new guy And it's a new guy Every time Because you're running away from something. Maybe. I also think like the problem doesn't always have to be about a man or about, I don't know, Jenny's No, it could be school. It could be anything. Right. It could be a toxic family life if she's still living at home. It could be be you guys. It could be financial troubles. I know you're thinking, oh, like she's going out and drinking. But like I know people who are in financial ruin and they're out all the time. <laughs> Still drinking. You know? Um, I remember at one point, like, I had gone through something where, like, I I think to my friends, my personality changed and they were like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Mm-hmm. But, like, they didn't know that someone who I knew from elementary school, so they didn't know this person was really sick and passed away. Mm-hmm. So, like, to me, I'm not talking about it, but, like, they think I'm being standoffish, but, like, I'm just going through something. Sometimes you never know what someone else is going through, and if you really care about this person, if you really care about Jenny, just just talk to her. Worst you can do is, like, she's like, nothing's going on, and you're like, okay, cool. I'm here for you, if anything. Mm-hmm girl what's for dinner or where are we going or you know mm-hmm. what's happening and then you keep it moving because like if you are you said it's a close friend group you guys go out all the time so i don't see anything wrong with being like are you okay and if you're really that close to be like girl you're a mess and you've been a mess mess you know like i think like as much as we can like laugh and joke when i'm a mess my friends tell me and we laugh about it after and yeah. vice versa and it's like because we know like but like i know that if i was a mess every single time they saw me they would be like yo you okay mm-hmm. it's it's no longer a laughing matter it's no longer an isolated incident or an every now and then thing it's like why are you what is happening because yeah. we we love you and care about you and because right now your friendship is hanging on by a thread i would say and the reason why i say that is because i'm imagining me and my small friend group going places to have fun and because of fucking this bitch over Jenny. here yeah, <laughs> no, this bitch over here, we keep getting kicked out. Like, <laughs> and now we're not inviting her places, and she's finding out now it's getting weird. This yeah. is the part where, like, are we even really friends kind of kicks in? Because imagine she doesn't realize, especially if she's blacking out, she doesn't remember yeah. what she's putting you guys through or to the extent of what she's putting you guys through. For all she knows, you guys are equally as drunk, and it's all just a good time, but she doesn't know you guys are miserable because, again, she's blacked out. Like, she doesn't remember. And on top of that, her finding out like, oh, now they're cutting me out of like hangouts and stuff like that's not nice when you think we're all friends and now I'm being. Yeah, isolated. And yeah. You're like, what the fuck? So I'm the problem. OK, fuck you guys. I'll go be the problem by myself. Yeah. So I would say literally just talk to her. Let and whether she opens up right then and there or not, let her know you're there for her. And then also try to um, hang out. When there's no alcohol um, involved or, or plan hang, you yeah, know, like yeah. daytime hangouts, no drinking and, you know, because real friendships, if, if you can only hang out with someone when you're drunk, that's not a friendship. <laughs> <laughs> <Back>. <laughs> that's a, an enabler. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So um, I wish you the best of luck, though. I know that's very, very frustrating. Yeah. But you love this person. They're clearly going through something. It could be a multitude of things. So don't jump to any conclusion. I think we gave you a few examples of what it could be. So it really could be anything. You don't know. But it definitely seems like something is going on. For sure. For sure. But thank you so much for writing in. And we wish you and your friendship and Jenny all the best. Again, if you want to write in, whether you have a question, you need some advice, just like this anonymous writer, or if you you know, have an interesting story to tell us, we would love to hear from you. Thissquareroom.com. I think it's time we played a little game. A game that we haven't played in a while. Duck, duck, goose. I haven't played that in a while. You are correct, but that's not... <laughs> Why did you say Duck, Duck, Goose? That's so random. I don't know. <laughs> that's actually so random. I haven't... Um, we, Don't we have an episode from the summer called Duck, Duck, Goose? Yeah. No, it was... Goose, Goose, Duck? Yeah. Oh, that's when... Mm, I don't want to say. I don't want Peter to come for you. <laughs> Des killed the duck. Anyway. I did not! <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Allegedly, Des killed the duck. No. Is that better? No. <laughs> no. Des. No. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we are going to play Guilty or Not Guilty. This woman, I don't know who she is. I believe she's, I mean, I don't want to like categorize, but I think she's like an OnlyFans model or a porn star. Or she does some sort of like adult content. I am like 90% sure. But she was, I believe, uh, performing fellatio. Okay. And she vomited on the guy's. Um, is this on like live? PP. Um, I don't know i'm actually gonna play the clip for you because i think that explains it better than okay i could (laughs) so here you go well this guy was taking forever to show up to the collab so i ate thai food you were giving him and you puked on it from the thai food yes i was like (laughs) on camera do you chew your food and i was like oh my god so sorry guys and everyone was like no that's the money shot go crazy (laughs) and then what and then i ate it you ate it the puke off his i had to like (laughs) suck it up like a vacuum Okay. Okay. So, now, typically, I know that vomiting on the PP is a no no mm-hmm. because that's like, you know, it's gross. Mm-hmm. But she ate it right off, which is nasty, but mm-hmm. like, that's <laughs> besides the point. For the act of vomiting on a guy's D, which is like, you know, again, a rule, a big no no. Is because she vomited, does that revoke the fact that, like, is she guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Not guilty because she cleaned it up. She's not guilty because I I have been the guy before. The what? Oh, the, oh, oh. Yeah. For a second, I was like, wait, you vomited on someone's vagina? That would be crazy. Yeah, yeah. That that would be an infection. Yeah. So that's, sorry, my, my brain again. I was just all over the place. Okay. So. Yeah, I've been the guy before. So I've been vomited on before. Okay. Um, maybe twice or three times. What? Des, not by the same person. No, 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 no. You have three separate people who have vomited on your dick? Des. What? Okay. <laughs> yeah. First of all, what are you doing to these women? I'm trying to kill them. Yeah, it seems like that. <laughs> yeah, because we're, you know, I like what I like and I like how I like it. Yeah, and apparently these women and their gag reflexes don't like it. Um, the first one, yeah, the first one was gag reflex problems. Mm-hmm. The, the second one, she was trying to do it for me, even though she didn't feel well. So I can I can understand that. But if you know you're not feeling well, honey. Then don't do it. You know what I mean? Um, like the heart is there, but. Exactly. Mm-mm. So I can, I can understand. Um, and the th- third one was. Like, she was just going crazy, and it just came up. See, this one, it seems like it was, like, I think she had just eaten, but I think also, like, the food maybe didn't sit well with her. Yeah. And then it just, when you have something hitting in the back of your throat, exactly. it's You easy. can't help, it's easy, exactly. So that's why I say she's not guilty, because it's not like she meant to do it. For sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, it's his, I don't want to say it's his fault. And honestly, well, she said he was late, so she was hungry, and she got You know what I'm saying? Food. But truly, I think she's a trooper, because... She she 
clean it up. You make your own mess, you clean it up. <laughs> no? No. No. <laughs> no. Well, I I don't know. I don't I think she's also not, not guilty. guilty. Yeah. Good. All right. Next up. This woman lives in a luxury high-rise building. She orders her DoorDash. She's in the apartment gym finishing up looking forward to her post-workout meal. Now, the meal was pizza. You can up for debate whether you should be eating pizza right after you work out. That's not the mm-hmm. point. She ordered the food. Um, as someone who also lives in a condo, I know... Um, well, actually, no, that's a lie because they bring my food right up to my door because I'm not going to serious. But, um, <laughs> you know, a lot of places, you have to go down to the lobby to collect your food. Now, she, you know, went to collect her food mm-hmm. and she's looking for the food and she doesn't see it there. So she asked the doorman and the doorman's like, no, I don't see it. Like, maybe they didn't drop it off. And she contacted DoorDash, contacted the driver. No. no, it was left in the lobby. Da, 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 da. She's going back and forth and the guy's telling her, no, it's not here until he finally caves and says, it's here, but I ate a slice. And now she, I, it's not clear because you never see the pizza in the clip. It's not clear if it's a whole pizza, a personal pizza, because she, towards the end, gets frustrated. And she's like, you know what? You can just have the other slice. So it sounds like it was just like a, you know, like a. Yeah, yeah. And they cut it in two. Right. So, but whether it's a whole pizza or just a couple slices, is this doorman? Fired. <laughs> so you think he's guilty? Because realistically, you're stealing. Well, what I think his defense, first of all, after... Was you hungry? Well, no. Here's the thing. He was... Well, you have to be starving to eat someone else's food? Nah, man. That's not right. But the thing is, like, he he lied to her. Oh, I don't see it. It's not here. Like, so that's how you know you're guilty, that you have to lie to cover up your actions. If you weren't... If you feel like you were guilty about anything, you would have just... You have to be guilty because you didn't order pizza. But he was saying, oh, like... You know, it's been down here for almost 30 minutes. And it's like, it doesn't matter. It's not yours. Yeah. I think he was trying to say because she was finishing up in the gym, it was like 20, 30 minutes. It doesn't matter. It's not yours. You yeah. didn't pay for it. You stole. Fire him. <laughs> I think uh, she was just like, oh, you should you should run me my bread. And he was like, oh, okay, I could. And she was just like, nah, forget it. Like, I don't want the money. I don't even want the food anymore. Bye. And I think some of the comments were just like, so what? Like, at the very least, so you would have to give won. me my money back. Very least? Because she's Go like, get me food. And that's not even what I want anymore. Now I want this. <laughs> a lobster. You said lobster. Steak. <laughs> Mwah. <laughs> Yeah, but she was like, you know, I'm not going to report you, but like you could get fired over this. Yeah, because like basically there's no consequences because she didn't report it to the building. She didn't, didn't get her money She didn't back. take the food and she didn't take the money. She just kind of, and she didn't even show his she, face in the video. Guilty. So there's no. She's guilty. You think she's guilty? She's guilty. I think, especially when you're hungry, man, I would have been hangry. I would have been pissed. And I just finished a workout. I earned this pizza. And that's the thing. It's like, okay, even if I don't want to report you, like, you know, you're trying to be kind. You are paying for that. Yeah. Yeah. You are you are reimbursing me, reimbursing me, and um, ordering me new food. Yeah, for sure, a hundred percent, for sure. And a little, like you said, a little something extra too. Yep. Because I didn't want that anymore. Now I'm feeling something a little different. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think you need to right your wrongs, like you wrong. But she was like, yeah, enjoy the next slice. So he is guilty, and she. You also think she's guilty? She's guilty. Damn. <laughs> you let him get away with murder. <laughs> What accent is that? I don't know. I heard it in the office. <laughs> oh, God. Of course you did. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> this is an interesting one. Hold on. Let me uh, get the get the facts. So this woman is planning a wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, she's been planning the wedding. You know, typically you book dates pretty far out, like at least a year, if not a little bit more, just because so many people get married and these venues are booked and... Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And if you want a weekend week, there's only so much like 50, what, 52 weekends so. in, in a year. So whatever. So they get booked up very quickly. This woman has her her venue picked, the date. She has her bridesmaids. They've all agreed. And then within a few months to the wedding, one of her bridesmaids says she has to back out of the wedding because she is getting married on that same day. She recently got engaged so this was she got engaged after mm-hmm. after first one after the original bro after friend number one you know she, so she knew the date of the wedding she knew everything she got she got engaged after is friend number two guilty or not guilty in this oh, situation thousand percent guilty I'm on the fence I feel like I need more context I need nope. to see the evidence nope. and I'll tell you why if 
there, there's a couple extenuating circumstances where I feel like friend number two could be justified. One, if the venue you want has no dates for years, because some venues really do book out years. <coughs> Choose Ahead. another venue. What You're my bridesmaid. You're not a guest at my wedding. I mean, I know. And then uh, what I was seeing some people say is like, oh, like, what if she's pregnant? You know, for some religious people, you have to get married before I you don't give a fuck give what you are. Because you don't want your child to be a bastard. You are my bridesmaid. I think the only way this is acceptable is if it's like, oh, my God, I didn't know you picked that date. I picked that date, too. And like you if, did know. No, but she, yeah, she 100% knew. So she's guilty. Guilty. Yeah, because we don't know about any other circumstance, I... And like Joe says, we only know what we know. And we can only talk about the evidence that we have here. And she's she's guilty as fuck. Dead ass wrong, based off of the evidence that we have. Guilty as fuck. (laughs) All right, next up, 50 Cent has a son. His name is Marquise Jackson. He went on a rant about the fact that he is not getting enough money from his father uh in child support his dad 50 cent mr curtis jackson pays 6700 per month which marquise says is not enough marquise lives in new york he said new york is expensive there's a certain lifestyle he said he has to live in a certain place because as 50 cent son which first of all i don't even know he was 50 cent son, but anyways, um he has to live in a certain place you, you knew you knew who he was i don't fucking know um, oh, they hate each other. I know about the little one. Oh, he, I know about the little one with um that really pretty girl. This he, is his first one, no? Yeah, well, he's a big, big man. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. They be. hate each other. Yeah. Um. So, oh, so, so funny enough, someone... Uh, yeah, so it's six six thousand seven hundred a month. He said, like, he has to live in a certain place because of security. He can't just live in any you know little ragtag place and blah blah blah. And for his lifestyle and for expenses and blah 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 blah, six thousand seven hundred is not enough in child support. Would you like to give your verdict, or would you like me to? Nigga, move then. So you think the son is guilty? Yeah, you're. There's a there's another post. Um, oh, I don't remember who it was, but they were saying how much they get in child support, f- and they live in New York, <laughs> and it was like triple that. F- I don't give a fuck what anybody else is giving. Here's the thing, and this is a huge get a fucking job, a huge thing, right? Get a job. Um, the the guy who was interviewing him was like, well, you know, like child support is not supposed to like be the end all be all like your your other parent is supposed to be contributing and then i was like how old is this kid because this seems like a grown man child support now child support is paid when you are still a minor and it will be continued to pay even if you're over 18 as long as the said child is in school Mm -hmm. if not Anything more that you get, anything that 50 is doing bonus. is just, it's not really child support. It's like, let me help you mm-hmm. out, my son. Whether we get along or not, I still want to see you eat. So here you go. This man is 26 years mm-hmm. old. He ain't no child. That's grown man support. You're dead wrong. Cause, and I know he's not in no damn school. No, 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 no. What I was going to say is the only way it can be child support is if 50 didn't pay before the age of whatever, 18, 21, whatever it is down there. Okay. Because you can get it back paid. True, no, 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 but he's just saying like he's been paying the six thousand seven hundred. Yeah, and it's shut not the fuck enough. up and go. But I'm just like, you're 26. Yeah, and you're still getting six thousand seven hundred wants... a month that you didn't work for, didn't earn. You could still get a job on top of that and work. Go talk to your mom, bro. Like, I don't know who he is, but clearly other people know who he is. So he has at least a name, which is more than a lot of people can say for themselves. You know, so like, make make use of that name. I don't know. Do something. Get a job as like a Walmart greeter or something. 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 Oh, I can't do that because I'm 50, son. Shut up. You're 50 shades darker. Be quiet. Wait, I don't know. What? That just came out because I, 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 I was so upset when I saw that. How dare you? How dare you? Please <laughs> yeah. tell my dad to... Yo, don't even... <laughs> so I think we are agreeing that he is Dead. guilty. Oh. Des. Oh, sorry, I gave him the death penalty. Des. Sorry, that's too much. Uh, no, in this square room, we don't we don't give the death penalty. What's next to it? What do you mean? Like what's right before the death penalty? I guess life. Like no four parole? times over. What? Like life times. Sometimes four. you can get like a hundred years. I know, in which certain, is crazy. Yeah, because <laughs> they're like life and then some. 
Um, and then um, this song, "Baby, It's Cold That's Outside." My, I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. I've got to go away. Baby, it's cold. That's been my like. I was of, just enjoying the concert, to be honest. <laughs> That's been one of my favorite songs since I was a kid. Interesting. Well, your favorite song is now up for debate because Kingsley, <laughs> he's legit trying to play King now right now, baby. Um, so people are saying it's a little bit, a lot of bit predatory. Mm-hmm. Um, she keeps saying she needs to leave. Um, he keeps saying no. And at first you're like, no, he doesn't want her to be cold, right? He's being a gentleman. I'm actually looking up the lyrics right now. I really can't stay, baby. It's cold outside. But I don't want to, I don't want to like... You know, mince words. I've got to go away. Um, she says, uh, she says, my mother will start to worry. Yes. My father will be. He, she's saying my, my parents are going to be worried yes, sick. Of course they will. Um, so I really better scurry. And then he's just like, he, he's saying, beautiful, what's your hurry? Listen to the fireplace roar. Beautiful, please don't hurry. So she says, OK, maybe just a half a drink more. I'll stay for a little bit. Right. He says, I'll put some records on while I pour. Wonderful. And then she starts to think, like, the neighbors might think. And then he, you know, cuts her out. Maybe it's cold out there or bad out there. Hey, what's in this drink? Right, because he said he's going to pour the drink, right? And now she's like, what's in this drink now? Aside from the no means no, and she said no, and he didn't take that as an answer. Now it's like, hmm, did you put some? Is your name Bill? (laughs) Cosby. Um... (laughs) (laughs) um yeah what's in this drink i wish i knew how to break this spell like she's just like what did you do to me what is going on and then he says oh and she actually literally says i ought to say no 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 sir at least i i'm gonna say that i tried and he's like what's the sense of hurting my pride listen a man in his pride no 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 we're not man and his pride. What even, we're not gonna do? What we not finna do? <laughs> Listen, even even Kingsley, please, please. <laughs> Kingsley doesn't like this song. He literally was like, "No, we're not doing this. It's not. It's not happening." Um, no, Kingsley, seriously, enough. <laughs> He's so cute though. Um, dog, not right now. Yeah, please. <laughs> nah, doggy. Okay. Um, no, like he's. Yeah, he's like, don't hold out. She says, you're very pushy. He says, I like to think of it as opportunistic. What? You're going to take the opportunity to keep her in your house, give her something strong in her drink, make her feel a little, I'm not gonna lie a little to you. woozy, a little hazy. You guys are doing too much. And then she's saying, no, 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 sir. And says, you're very pushy, you know. And then he's just like, I like to think of it as a little opportunity. Opportunity to do what, sir? I want to fuck. You know I want to fuck. We know we want to fuck. I want to leave. So you don't want to really leave. Good? You don't want to leave. She said, no, no, and no, And then she said, sir. I'll have another drink. No, no, no. That uh, Actually, first of all, she says, I simply must go. Baby, it's cold outside. The answer is no. Baby, it's cold outside. She said, the welcome is being warm. But you know my she sister ends up will leaving. be suspicious uh my brother will be at the oh my sister will be suspicious gosh your lips look delicious what type of listen sir i'm out first of all this is this is like me when like people are like why do you entertain des why do you why do you continue to argue and i'm like i don't know i should have just (laughs) been disengaged this this woman should have disengaged but like hey you feel pressure you're in this man's house um She's just talking about like all her family. Now her now her aunt's going to be worried. No, she doesn't say a drink more. She said maybe just a cigarette more. And then he said never such a blizzard before. She said I don't even smoke. And then um, So why the fuck are you having a cigarette? I don't, I don't know. That one's weird but maybe maybe he laced it with something. <laughs> um I really can't stay. Get over that. It's cold outside. Oh, oh, you're right. Right at the end. Okay, fine. Just another drink then. And then he says that took a lot of convincing. That's how it ends. Hm. Now, don't be biased because I'm this not. is your favorite song. I'm not. Is the man in the song guilty? Of or what? Not guilty? Of what? Being a motherfucking creep. <laughs> He's not a creep. 
I mean, a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. It is it is a little creepy. When like it's just such a cute song and it's like a little duet and it's back and forth and it's so sweet. But then once you really listen to the lyrics, whether you agree it's like predatory <coughs> or not, it's a little it's just <coughs> being a little creep. Oh god. Ninety five percent of rap songs, creepy. Ninety five percent of people creepy. Chris Brown fucking sang and ran into some bitch's car and sang with her, but that's okay? When? What? I gotta say, yo, I really don't know your name, but excuse me, man. Oh my God. I think I re- you. He has a li- First of all, <laughs> Jesus, if Chris Brown danced like what I just had to witness, <laughs> my God, he would never have a career. But no, even that, because like, I remember seeing that um, someone shared the clip and like, yo, imagine you're walking and some man is doing that behind you. But I agree. But we're not saying anything about those. But no, at the no. very least, he was saying, excuse me, miss. Excuse me, yo. First of all, as far as I'm concerned, this man's being a gentleman. Bitch, it's cold outside. We've never seen a blizzard like this. Uh, Don't get stuck a blizzard. (laughs) Blizzard. No, 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 no. I refuse then and I refuse now. (laughs) Not guilty. No, no, no is what the woman said and he didn't take that for an answer. national hero. Oh, Des, I don't think this is the hill you want to (laughs) die (laughs) on. Listen, defend, say not guilty, but don't. He's not guilty. He's don't. not guilty. They won um, uh, uh, song of the year. I need, I need a gavel. Guilty. <laughs> not guilty. He's I definitely say not guilty. guilty. What? Oh my god! Don't we? I think we always end up agreeing. What we happens if we do, don't agree? We, we give it to the audience too. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good one. Yeah. We're not debating. Is the song good? Is it catchy? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Is this man guilty or not guilty of being a little bit pushy and a little bit of a creep? We're not going to straight up go predator because who knows? I mean, she did. Whatever. Okay, I'm not going to say he wasn't pushy. Yes, he nah, was man, pushy. He's guilty. He's guilty. He was pushy, no, but he wasn't a creep. Pushy. He was not a creep. First of all, what's in this drink? Bitch, it's called wine. It's what you've been drinking the whole time you were here when we had dinner. When I cooked you that steak that you. And guess what? what? Guess what? What a drunk person can't consent. No, if no. She, was, some... she wasn't drunk at the time. Hmm. But what's in this drink? Hmm. Hmm. The same thing you had all night. When you're drugged, when you slip a little roofies in there, you don't even know it's in there because that's what she said. What's in this? Because she felt different. No, I've been drinking she's all saying, night, and I felt like no. This. Now she's I saying what's sip, in there. I'm about to, uh, no, no, no. She's no, no, saying no. What's that's what she there. said. She no, said no, 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 no. And he said, and he's like, drink up, bitch. Come on. She asked for it. He didn't say drink up. She was like, oh, give me a half a cup. He give was, me a full cup. He was give already, me a cigarette. He was already pouring. He was already for pouring. himself. But she was like, nah, oh. nah, nah, nah. He got up to pour. She, no, no, don't do that. She, nah, nah, nah. She didn't realize how much she liked him, and she can't believe she can't believe well, not, that she's staying. What we're not gonna she do? Did I do it right? That's why did she, I do it right? <laughs> what we're not gonna do is blame victims and blame. She's not a victim. Women. Nothing happened she's to her. She's a victim of mystery. She got an award. She got what? a fucking award. Guess what? We live in fucking Canada. It's always cold outside. Okay, <laughs> it's cold outside right now. It Actually, is. it's probably not. It's probably Chile. Probably is actually. So. What are we really doing here? Okay. <laughs> he's, he's guilty. But if you are like us and you... Well, I guess no. I was say if you're like us and you can't decide, but we're asking you to decide. Do you think that the song... Cold, is it cold outside or baby is cold outside? Baby it's cold outside. Baby is cold outside. It's a little creepy. A little pushy. And do you think it's that this so guy beautiful. is guilty? It's a, it's a cute little song. Because I remember he used to like sing it all the time. And I was just like, oh my God, wait a minute. <laughs> something is not right yeah let us know but that has been guilty or not guilty okay well i think now is a great time to get into the question of the day um full disclosure everyone i did peek at it earlier and i was like what the hell and because usually like you know we like i don't write these questions these are um Fun fact, these are, like, from, like, a, a, a conversational, like, game or whatever. And um, we're not saying it because it's not sponsored. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but they, um, it's it's from We're Not Really Strangers. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this one I pulled and I was like, hmm. So I read it out loud to Des. You know, just in full disclosure because he may have an answer and, like, I really don't think I do. The question of the day is, how would you describe the feeling of being in love in one word? 
And what I said to, after I read the, the question to Des, I was like, I really don't know. Because the only thing I could say is, shit. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Because, you know, as we talked about different swear words, like, it could mean a multitude of things. Yeah. So I, I have to just say that's my answer. But I didn't want to be, like, fake with you guys and pretend I was saying it for the first time. <laughs> but, uh, Des, what are your thoughts? Um, It's nice. It's nice. Um, I'm going to go with nice because that's my word to go to when, when I enjoy things. Um, it's, it's nice to know that someone kind of understands you. And if they don't, they're willing to meet you halfway kind of thing. Is that, but you can be in love and not have it be reciprocated though. No, 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 no. I'm just saying like it. When it's reciprocated, you're speaking about. Okay. Mm Mm-hmm. And like the feeling of loving somebody is nice when it's like if you love somebody and you're not getting it back, then it's shit. <laughs> but if you're getting it back, like it's it's it, it feels good. It feels warm. Like, yeah, you it know, can when- also be painful, even when love is reciprocated back, it can be painful. It can be stressful. It can be stress inducing it can joe, just joe they said pick one word joe but that's why I'm, that's why i had to go with shit because <laughs> that could say it could be shit it's bomb or shit it's fucked up like yeah, you know what i mean yeah. it's like it could be a lot of things which is why i can't describe it with one word like love is fuck a battlefield that's what it is that's an alanis that was good. song. yeah i know that song yeah that was good but like it is, is it alanis oh god i don't know now i have to look it up because i don't want to be but I told you one of my favorite like childhood movies, 13 going on 30, and they listened to that song. It was my first time ever hearing it. Um, and I wasn't even 13 yet. Love is a drug. Yeah, but I feel like I know that was a cop out. No, no, not even that. But like typically oh. drugs are just not a good thing. It's e- not. Even if it's a prescription that's supposed to help you, like no one wants to be dependent on something. Yeah. You know, so whether it's a prescription or a narcotic, it's not a good thing. So I don't want to which it can be sometimes. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it's Pat Benatar. Whoever that is. Oh my god. Yeah, it's Love is a Battlefield by Pat Benatar, not Alanis. Oh my god, now I just look stupid. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, because you're like, I don't know these yep. people. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think it can be intoxicating, but For that's sure. not a good thing. For sure. If you know how to balance things, it can be great. If if you're someone who dives in and you give your all, that's not as good as it sounds because then you lose yourself in there and that's not what you want to do. Yeah, I'm really desperately trying to think of like another yeah, we're, word. No, no, shit was good. No, not shit. 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 Because <laughs> like I, I really, I'm trying, I'm trying, I but I can't think that. of one word. I feel like love is so many things. Mm-hmm. Because, like, when you have it, it is beautiful. But when you lose it, it's really painful. But, like, it's painful because it is love. Yeah, yeah. So love is not just nice. Yeah, that's true. You know? It is, It is though. Mm -hmm. But it's not just nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's my answer. Yeah, no, no. I can get on board with that. I'm going to stick beside it. I'm with you. (laughs) You're with you. I'm with you. Okay. I'm with you. What accent is that? American. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I don't think that was an American accent. I just think that was you. I don't know. I'm trying to use like I'm slang or some shit. Shit. I will shit. fuck with you. <laughs> All right. Well, that brings us to the end of our episode. Um, don't forget, we want to know what you think about baby is cold outside. Are you team guilty or team not guilty? Let us know. And wait. Oh, what? my God. No, sorry. I was just like forgetting like the baby's cold outside and like it tied into the whole like Christmas is coming. Like it's like we started with the holiday season and we ended with the holiday season. Yeah. But like now that I think about it. Oh, my gosh. And I said this to you earlier. I said that Frosty the Snowman and Jingle Bells are not Christmas songs. Yeah. They're just winter songs. So is but baby's so cold. is Baby's yeah. Cold Outside. Because like these are just songs that relate to like snow and the winter and the cold. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't have to be, but like they isn't like it's weird because like right after Christmas people are like you gotta stop playing this music, but it, I it's play not. That shit. Like, like um, uh, what's it? The rocking around the Christmas tree, mm-hmm. like that's a Christmas song. Santa Claus is coming to town, right? Yeah. Like those are Christmas songs, but even um, 
Little Drummer Boy, Oh Holy Night. Mm-hmm. Like those aren't Christmas songs. Mm-hmm. So like I'm a when does when does a spring start? Like March or April? No, March, I think. May in Toronto. <laughs> I'm not talking about the weather. I mean oh. like actually yeah, there's like March, a date. March. Was it spring solstice or whatever? Yeah. So no, like, it's winter solstice. No, that's when winter starts. Oh. December, I think, 21st. I've only heard about the winter ones. There's a solstice every... Oh, I didn't know that. I think, actually. Don't don't quote me. Whatever. The point is... No, there's summer. There's summer solstice. I know that. Whatever. My point is, I thought it was like a cute little wrap-up the way we started with Christmas and ended with winter. Let's just put it that there way. Go. I was going to say Christmas, <laughs> but it's not. Yeah. Anyways, yes. Um, that's very cute. Let us know what you think. Thank you for listening, and we will see you next Tuesday. Bye.